Hello, hello, my name is Callista and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. In the last episode, we had a bit of a chat with Sir Puth over there and he said that while the Knights of Redcliffe are prepared for the final fight, they were hoping that we could try and get them some holy protection and he actually suggested going and speaking to Mother Hannah in the Chantry. So we're going to just jog on down, see if she can help them out somehow. And with that, we should be completely prepared. We've got Owen helping the militia with their repairs. We persuaded Dwin, Lloyd and Berwick over there to help fight tonight. So we've done pretty much everything that we can. Really? Oh, and we did find Caitlin's little brother, Bevan. Bevan said you were the one who found him. I can't possibly repay you. About the sword I found in your home, the brat was more problem than he was worth. Just stay safe, both of you. Don't worry about it. About the sword I found in your home? Bevan told me about Grandfather's sword. So you have it then? I suppose it won't go to waste at least perhaps i could pay you something for it i'll return it after the battle it belongs to your family no it certainly won't go to waste so given that artin is noble cast and so many of their treasures and heirlooms are all kind of lost in the deep roads and they can't get to them i don't think she'd feel comfortable taking away another family's kind of precious memento is the wrong word heirloom heirloom is better and it you know it does belong to them i'll return it after the battle it belongs to your family use it well if we survive i'll gladly take it back thank you again for bevin with my mother gone well i'm just glad he's safe i can't thank you enough the brat was more problem than he was worth. Just stay safe, both of you. Don't worry about it. Yeah, there's. she really doesn't need to thank us. It was it was a really easy problem to fix. It, it didn't take Artin that much effort. Don't worry about it. The Maker sent you. I just know it. Thank you again. No worries, Caitlin. Now then, I... Yep, Mother Hannah is over here. You are of dwarven blood and a stranger amongst us, yet you defend a home that is not your own. We are grateful for that. Um, it looks like puppies possessed. <laughs> okay, then. Um, not quite sure what that's happening. Let's, let's just ignore it. It, it. He'll be fine. Is there a reason I shouldn't help be grateful when we win the battle? I have my own reasons to be here. I cannot stand by while monsters attack the helpless. I don't need a human god's gratitude. So, as I've mentioned before, Artin is very pragmatic. She's 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 here. She's helping these people out because she needs to get to Arl Eamon. So, she's not exactly got purely altruistic motives for doing this, but I don't I don't think she'd necessarily admit that to these people. They don't need to know that she has ulterior motives. Be grateful when we win the battle. I will be grateful of your attempt, even if it fails. We can ask no more. Allow me to introduce myself. I am revered Mother Hannah, head of this Chantry, which for the moment is a place of refuge for these poor villagers. Surely this cannot be the entire village. These few are all who are left? All those who cannot defend themselves, yes. They are terrified of tonight's attack, and I fear these walls will not keep them safe. What can I do to help with your task? I would like your blessing, Mother. Just how safe is the Chantry? Sir Perth needs holy protection for the knights. I should go. Just how safe is the Chantry? It is the sturdiest building in the village. The women, elderly, and children will stay here during the battle, while the militia and knights protect them. They set up a barricade outside the Chantry to keep monsters from getting inside. If anything gets in, Van Tegan is our only defense. Please, 
Have mercy. Help these people. Do whatever you can. So I do think Artin would be raising her eye eyebrows a little bit at the fact that the women in here, given that Artin is also a woman who fights, she's kind of, she's probably thinking, well, th they could help out with the fighting. At the same time, I think Artin knows that she isn't exactly the societal norm. I mean, even in Orzammar, outside of the Silent Sisters, it's very rare for women to actually kind of dedicate themselves to fighting because, you know, dwarves have that um, population problem, so all of the women kind of are encouraged to stay home and make babies. Now then, what are my options? Uh, not... We, we don't need her blessing. We... Let's just get straight in and ask about Sir Perth. Sir Perth needs holy protection for the night. I have done all I can for them. I pray for them each night and seek the Maker's forgiveness for their sins before they face their deaths. What Sir Perth seeks is something that is not in my power to give. What do you mean, can't you just bless them? Well, you're not praying hard enough then. Yeah, I, I don't think Artin would actually really understand what Mother Hannah means. As I've said it before and I'll say it again, Artin is extremely confused by the fact that they're praying to someone, something that, you know, they can't even see the revering the stone. They can see the stone. They can touch the stone. It's a very practical religion. What do you mean? Sapath believes that I can protect them against these creatures, a shield only the Maker can provide, and that I withhold this power. Well, can't you just tell him the Maker will watch over him? Morale is a powerful thing, you know. You mean you want me to let them think the Maker protects them in a real sense? I will not lie to them like that. Persuade, if it gave them confidence, then it does protect them. Intimidate, you will help them because I tell you to, and do it quickly. I suppose you are right. He will simply have to do without then. No, Artin is with Alistair. If, if they believe that the Maker is protecting them, they will fight harder, they'll fight faster, they'll fight for longer, and then that belief will have protected them. If it gave them confidence, then it does protect them. I suppose if they believed in the Maker's power, that belief would inspire them somewhat. Exactly. It just seems like trickery. Very well. If it keeps them alive, I will do what I must. I have a number of silver cast holy symbols. Tell Sir Perth that he can have them, and that wearing them will confer the Maker's protection. Now please, let me tend to these poor folk. I must do what I can, and I suggest you do the same. Ooh, I am... Um, I think we might actually have pissed her off a little bit there, but... You know, it's... It is all for a good cause. It is all so that we can protect the village. We're not... We're not trying to get this woman to... Go against her moral beliefs for, like, no reason. Okay then, so we've got Sir Perth his amulet. I'm sure he'll be uh, very pleased with that. And as as I said before, if it if it does, you know, make them fight better, then it it did protect them, even if it is kind of just a placebo effect. The Knights of Redcliffe are ready to fight at your disposal. You said you wanted holy protection. What is your status? I have some questions for you. Carry on. We've we've asked everything else. So we we know that his status is good and he's answered all the questions he can. You said you wanted holy protection. Have you spoken to the revered mother? Has she offered anything? Mother Hannah has some holy amulets. Would those do? Mother Hannah does not believe she can help you. Not yet. Mother Hannah has some holy amulets. Would those do? If they are the same as the symbols worn by their priests, well, that would more than suffice. But it's not even magical. You think it would actually help? I'm glad I could help. Let's not question this guy's logic. If this helps him get through a tough fight, then, you know, good for him. 
I'm glad I could help. I will send some men to collect the amulets. Please give my regards to Mother Hannah for seeing some sense at last. Carry on. As you say, we are prepared to meet the enemy here when they come. Make her prepare us. We shall be victorious. Yep, that is the night sorted. Now then, we just have to check back in with Murdoch. And I think I'd actually like to just um, do a little bit of party management before we set off the assault. Okay, how are you doing, Murdoch? Well, it looks like Owen's finally doing the repairs we need. The damn fool is falling over a drunk and still manages to make smithying look easy. Good enough, I say. I'll inform Bantig and the militia is ready to fight. We'll give those bastards a welcome they won't soon forget. I'm ready to make my stand. Let's wait for sundown. Persuade, we're not only ready, Murdoch, we're going to win. I have some questions. How's morale? I'd like to talk about Dwin. I'll be back. I need to check on something. We're not only ready, Murdoch. We're going to win. I hope you're right. We may just be village folk. But we're going to fight like there's no tomorrow. How was morale? The men's spirits are high for now. Far better than I expected, to be honest. Dwin's presence makes the men a bit more confident. It helps to know a veteran is on our side tonight. Since you convinced Owen to start repairs, we're pretty well armed now. That is a relief, let me tell you. Overall, I'd say the militia's very ready to fight. Never thought I'd say that, but there you go. Is there anything else? I'll be back. I need to check on something. I have a good feeling about tonight. There we go. The militia is all good. We've done everything we can. However, this was never kind of a, um... Uh, uh, like a battle party. This was gain the respect of the locals party. And so I'm actually going to take Foreign, foreign out. Indeed. And I'm going to bring Morrigan in. She has some good offensive spells, which I think would probably be very helpful to us. And Morrigan does have a level. So two magic, one willpower. And I think I'm going to grab her Affliction Hex. A Contagious Hex inflicts penalties to Cold Resistance, Electricity Resistance, Fire Resistance, Nature Resistance, and Spirit Resistance on the target and all other nearby enemies. Or enemies nearby. So I, I think that'll be very helpful. And I also, just while I remember... I want to set Artin and Alistair to aggressive, I think. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think that'll be helpful in the long term. I'm also gonna put in a save right here. So I'm gonna be brutally honest. I want to try and save everyone. I want to do this with no casualties. And to be very blunt, I'm willing to reload this as many times as necessary. So this could take me a little while. But we are gonna, we're gonna start everything going. The repairs are underway surprisingly quickly, considering how drunk Owen is. We may just make it. I'm ready to make my stand. Let's wait for sundown. Are you sure? There's still time left if you need to talk with Sir Perth or do anything else. No, I'm ready now. Wait for sundown. How is morale? Perhaps you're right. We've done everything that we can. There is nothing else we can do to help these people. We know that morale is as good as it's going to get, so I think the only thing we really can do is wait. No, I'm ready now. Then good luck to you. You'll need it. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Oh lord, they coming. <gasps> They're coming. Get to your positions. Make ready. It's time. 
time, men. Know that we fight for the Maker and our hour. Light the traps. Burn these foul creatures. Okay, so very quickly, I want to see we have three knights, Sir Perth, Dwin, two thugs, and Berwick. Now then, let's see how many tries this takes me. Okay, I'm going to be con controlling Gwyn for most of this fight. Just because I want to, in case any of these guys start lo losing health, I want to be on it with the, um, the healing. Okay, Gwyn, go for this guy. Yep, take him out. Thank you. Okay, and Martin and Alistair immediately go into the fire. That is kind of the um, the bad thing with having them go aggressive. But I'd I'd rather have these two getting hurt where I can give them health poultices than um than having all of these guys go into the fire at once, which is just. So awkward. Help out Artin and Alistair. Artin, take a potion. Win. Uh, go after this one. And Alistair, take a potion. How are these guys? Those guys are just fine. But I want to keep an eye on them. Yep, yeah, they're, they're still all good. Okay, I'm thinking I can get away with the group heal. Okay, and let's go with this guy. Okay, that guy's down. Uh, Alistair, take a potion. Artin, take a potion. Oh, no, didn't want to be a Morrigan. There we go. Okay, Artin, take one of these. Again, whoops. Okay, yep, they're all good. Go after these guys. Dwin, Dwin, don't go in the fire. You take another health poultice. Okay, it's only one of them. I can live with that. Okay, uh, this guy. Oh, I am blocked. You know what? You can heal up Alistair. That'll be helpful. And Alistair, drink. Okay, uh, win. Go after this guy. Uh, Dwin is doing okay. Heal up him. Oh, no. Oh, what happened there? We... Oh, damn, that was... That was lucky. Okay, um, I want to put a rejuvenate onto in. Um, okay, Artin, take a potion. Okay, uh, you can get rock thrown. That's it. Back up. I don't need you nearby me. Um, we we do have our heal ready. Again, I wish he'd get out of the fire. Alistair, take a potion. Uh, let's, let's help him out a bit. Yep, all of the knights are fine. They're all good. Okay. Okay, and heal up Dwin again. go. Twin is on fire. Let's just rejuvenate him. The monsters are attacking from the lake. They're attacking the barricades. We need help. Knights, stay here and guard the path. Come on, we need to hurry. Okay, quickly, I just want to check. Dwin and his two thugs, the three knights of Perth Berwick, and none of them died. Okay, now while we have a minute... Two cunning one dexterity. I'm gonna give myself some more combat training and I'm thinking, 
I'm thinking I go with dual weapon export expert, and I'm also gonna save here just so that I don't have to do this sequence again. That's Alistair, and he's on the ground. Great. Good job, buddy. Okay, um... Very well. Come on, go, go, go. One reload later. Okay. No militia men on dead on arrival. Okay. Um Morrigan. Go after this walking corpse. Affliction hex. Alistair. Walking corpse. Overpower. Artin. Mark of death that one. Win. Heal up this militia member. And get a Rejuvenate on Murdoch. Um, this guy. Okay, so this guy is trying to go down. Oh, God. Tell me the heal is back. There we go. Okay. Come on, heal. There we go. We got him just in time. Okay. This one... Do we rejuvenate? Um, heroic aura. This guy. Okay. We need another heal. There we go. Yeah, everyone else is doing okay. It's just this guy. Okay, is. Hold up. Is one walking corpse down? It appears so. In that case, um, you keep attacking this guy. Artin, you go and attack this guy. We need to deal with the two yellow ones first. Okay. Okay, everyone is fine. Um, rejuvenate on this guy. Um, da, da, da. This militia member's the only one I'm really very concerned about. Um, okay, uh... Let's help out with this. Morrigan, please attack. Okay, everyone is still up. There we go. Okay. Uh, take a Lyrian potion. Okay, um, heal this guy. Okay, um, that militia member's looking a bit dodgy, as is Murdoch. Gonna rejuvenate Murdoch. Come on. Come on. Get that heal going. There we go. There we go. Um I'm help him out. No, 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 no. Please don't wander off. Please don't wander off. Lloyd. As as well as this guy. Okay, everyone. There are no militiamen down. I'm pretty sure. Let's heal up this guy. Just as a precaution. I got this one. Okay, that's good. Now this one. You can see more coming over that way. But yeah, all of the militia. This guy's a little low. No, no, no. Okay, yep, that guy's fine. All of the other militiamen are safe. That guy's getting a bit low, but I think... Okay, now, go after this guy. Uh, win, where about the win is blocked. That is fantastic. Okay. Um, Alistair's helping out those guys. Thinking, help taking this guy out. No, 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 win. There we go. Now help these guys. 
What is fine? I wish I had counted how many militia men were here. Because if one of them's run off, I'm gonna be a little bit miffed. Okay. Everyone is doing fine for health. Okay, yep, yeah, that's... That's... Fine. All of the militia are doing okay. Okay. Alistair's helping those guys out. Okay, good job. Is Lloyd still going? Yep, yeah, Lloyd is there. Murdoch is there. Thomas is there. Yep, yeah, all of the named people still alive and kicking. Um, help with this guy. Okay, yeah, I think I think we've got this. I think we have got this. Although they do say that what is a pride cometh before the fall. Hopefully I haven't just cursed myself for that. Okay, yeah, that that's that guy down. That militia member is looking a little bit low. Okay, good job. Now then, yep, Artin's taking on that guy. Alistair is... Where is Alistair? I can't see him. Alistair's over there. Morgan's there. Okay. Okay, let's help with this guy. Okay, yep. Everything. Is there a, um... Yeah, there's a guy over there. There's that militia man over there helping out. Okay. Um... <laughs> that guy's almost down. Now for this one... All of the militia men, except for that guy, he's looking a little bit n no. There we go. Okay, did that even do anything? No, please. There we go. Good job. Yep, everyone's looking fine. Um, Artin, if you could possibly help out with these, that'd be great. Okay, yep, everyone is still looking fine. Win. Help out with this one. Okay, he's down. Any militia looking particularly bad? Does not seem so. And now then, drink another Lyrian potion. Okay, uh, that guy could use some help. Alistair, go help him out. Artin, who are you going after? You're going after that one. That is a-okay. Okay, that one is dead. Win. Not this guy. He's running away. Okay, yep. Everyone is still looking fine. Okay, that one is down. Win, if you wanted to help out here. That'd be great. Yep, everyone... I'm still okay. That walking corpse is almost down. Okay, that militia man is looking a little low. And this guy I'm gonna rejuvenate. And this guy also. Okay. Um, who now? Who now? This guy. Stone fist. There we go. And our friend over there is still okay. Yep, yeah, I don't. I think because he's so far away, the walking corpses haven't actually noticed him, which I'm I'm very happy with. Okay, now this guy, this militia man, could use some healing. This one. Okay, there we go. Now, drink another potion. And heal. No. Heal him. Okay, um, help out with them. Good job. Now I'm thinking this guy. Okay, 
This is going well. Okay, that's them down. Let's see. That militia man could do his melee. Okay, he's fine. Here we go. Yeah, that's a corpse. That's not the last of the Manchur. Hmm. Oh! There we go! Dawn arrives, my friends, and all of us remain. We are victorious. Nice! And it is these good folk you see beside me that we have to thank for our lives today. Without their heroism, surely we would all have perished. I bow to you, dear lady. The Maker smiled on us when he sent you here in our darkest hour. Allow me to offer you this. The helm of Sir Ferris the Red, my great uncle and hero of Ferelden. He would approve passing it to one so worthy. I'm quite surprised at that. That was only, um, one, one reload. I might, I might just include that in. I'm not entirely sure. I'll watch through the episode, see if it gets a little bit boring. Uh, let's see. Thank you, Bantigan. I am honoured. What is special about it? Keep it. I don't need any reward for this. Are you sure this is the time for ceremonies? Um, hmm. Yeah, I, I see no reason not to accept this gift and be gracious about it, especially considering all of the townsfolk are, like, right next to us. Thank you, Bantigan. I am honoured. Take it, then, and use it in good health. Let us bow our heads and give honor to those who gave their lives in defense of Redcliffe. Now they walk with he who is their maker. Long may they know the peace of his love. So let it be, may their ancestors give them welcome, remain silent. Hmm. It's, it's between two or three. Personally, I don't necessarily... These aren't our people. We didn't know any of these people very personally. I don't think this is really our place to be, you know, intruding on uh, their ceremonies. With the Maker's favour, the blow we delivered today is enough for me to enter the castle and seek out your Arl. Be wary and watch for signs of renewed attack. We shall return with news as soon as we are able. Now we've no time to waste. Meet me at the mill. We can talk further there. Okay, I'm... I am, again, I'm very surprised that it didn't take me reload after reload after reload. Okay, um... Let's see. Okay, first things first. Take a lesser health kit. There we go. No one else was injured during the fight, were they? Oh, Alistair was. Okay, Alistair, you also take one of these. Oh, everyone was. Except for Morrigan. Okay. Uh, let's see, we also wanted to re-equip Sir Garland's sword. We are gonna give the green blade back. Yes. Okay then, Caitlin. You saved us. I can't believe we're alive, and it's finally over. There's still Darkspawn to deal with. It's not over yet. What are you going to do now? That's what I do. Yeah, it's... <laughs> it is over for the people of Redcliffe, but it's not over for Ferelden. There's still Darkspawn to deal with. It's not over yet. That's what everyone is saying. We might have to evacuate the village if those Darkspawn come closer. It just seems so horrible. With mother and father both gone, I suppose they'll send us to an orphanage, maybe separated. At least we're both alive. I won't forget what you did though. Neither of us will. Thank you. I promise to return your grandfather's sword. Why do you have to go to an orphanage? Yes, yes, off you go already. You're quite welcome. I promise to return your grandfather's sword. I can't take it back. If you need it, keep it. Grandfather would want it in the hands of a hero. 
Perhaps I could pay you something for it. You could sell it. I insist you take it. Thank you, that's very kind of you. Yeah, it's, it's theirs. As I, as I mentioned before, this is their family heirloom. If they want to sell it, that's fair enough. But I don't think in good conscience Artin can really take it from them. You could sell it. I insist you take it. Oh, I wager she is robbed of it the moment we leave. I suppose it's quite valuable, isn't it? Perhaps someone in the city will buy it. Thank you again. We should leave now, I suppose. There's a wagon taking us north, and I don't want to miss it. Farewell. Oh, Morrigan disapproves minus five. Ouch. But she's still plus 48, so it's all good. Um, let's see, is there anyone else in here that we need to talk to? No, does not seem like it. We can go and very quickly have a chat with uh, Thomas and Murdoch. Maybe go see um, how Lloyd's doing. He survived the fight and got a doomsayer over there. That's great. Thomas? We survived. I thought we were goners for sure. What luck you came when you did. Van Tegan or Al Eamon will be calling for volunteers soon, won't they? They'll need an army to fight in the south now. I'll go when they call me, I guess. I'm going to... Get drunk first, though, if you'll excuse me. Okay, Thomas. Ah, poor guy. He's he's not really a fighter, but he'll he'll do his duty, and that is admirable. I'm still amazed we made it through the night in one piece and one. They'll be telling stories about this for years, I bet. Fighting's not over. We still have Darkspawn to battle, and if the Arl sends out the call, I'll be there for him. Haven't you seen enough fighting? I could use a good commander myself. That's commendable attitude. We d One, we don't really have an army for him to command. Also, I think Redcliffe needs him. I think Redcliffe will need someone with a good head on their shoulders to kind of oversee the aftermath of this. And I think Murdoch is that man. That's a commendable attitude. If you'll excuse me, I think I'll offer the Maker a bit of thanks for not choosing to be a wrathful god today. Good luck to you. The end is upon us. The dead rise and foul magic spreads across the land. Oh, great. I mean, I, I suppose it was kind of foreseeable. These people lost so much. It's It kind of makes sense that Someone would go slightly loopy. Uh, Dwin, anything to say? Phew, some fight. Reminds me why I left Orzammar in the first place. Why is that? What do you intend to do now? Thank you for helping with the battle. I could use your help against the Darkspawn. You're still alive? Lucky. Uh, I don't think we need to ask why. I think Artin gets why. We should help him. He didn't have to help, and he did. Thank you for helping with the battle. Hey, anything for Redcliffe, right? Whatever. First thing I'm gonna do is get some sleep. For about a week. Go celebrate or whatever it is you're gonna do. You won, right? You're a hero. Or something. Okay, Dwin. I also want to check in on Lloyd. I am... Um, like, I'm glad that I was able to get everyone to... To make it through this. Oh, we've also got um, the Chanter's Board and the Blackstone Liaison. Ooh. You know what? There'll be there'll be time for that once we're done um, infiltrating Castle Redcliffe. Oh. He's, he's, he's seen stuff. He's probably lost his family. Let's... No one's complaining about him. Everyone just seems to be ignoring him. So I'll, I'll leave him be for now. Yep, here's everyone drinking. Uh, I'm guessing, yeah, it seems like Berwick's gone. There's Thomas. Lloyd. I don't know how I survived that damnable mess out there, but I did. I suppose I owe you thanks. The men respect me now. 
I would never have gone out there if you hadn't shoved me. It feels good to help out. I'm glad you feel that way. You didn't help much. Trust me. Feel like a man now, do you? I'm glad you feel that way. I'm no warrior. Not the way I was screaming like a little girl when those things charged me. But I'm no coward either. Listen, a soldier gave me this trinket some years ago as payment for his tab. He said it was magical. I didn't believe him then. But I think it helped keep me alive out there. You should have it. It might do the same for you sometime. Thank you. Magic is it. Hand it over. I don't want anything from you. We'll, again, we'll accept the gift graciously. Thank you. Yes, well, don't go spreading news that I gave you something for free. Then everyone will want something from me. Anyhow, it's good to be back. I don't want to be in battle again anytime soon. Know what I mean? Now then, what did we get? Lloyd's magic ring, minus one cunning to plus two strength. That, I, I wouldn't mind giving Sten that. Okay, and Bella, how are you doing? I admit, for a while, I didn't think either of us would survive. It's good to see you did. It's good to see you too. Thank you, I'm in no mood to chat. It's good to see you too. Anything I can get you? Ah, uh, yeah, Art Artin's fine. She was just checking in on her. I should go. Good luck to you then. Okay, then. Now then, that's it for in here. Oh, there are some gossips over there. Thank the maker. My brother and his family made it out of Lothering. He said that the Darkspawn attacked it the very next day. The Darkspawn took Lothering, did they? I don't know. I expect so, since there was no one there to stop them. Well, it won't be much longer until those monsters get here. There doesn't seem to be anyone fighting them now. Ah, dark times. It is sad what happened to Lothering. Oh, I think they were doing some more gossip, but... Oh, well, too late. Now then. Ban Tegan is waiting just up there. However, I think before um, we get to him, I think I'm going to stop right here on this bridge. I think this is as good a place as any to save the game so please remember to like if you enjoyed leave a comment below and if you wanted to subscribe it would be very much appreciated i've been callista thanks for watching and see you in the next episode